Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome into the Learning Lab. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to create a custom envelope for a custom card. Come on in and let me share with you how I tackled this conundrum. Now, in a previous video, I created this card using um, Tim Holtz Bird Cage and Birch that I got uh, from Bridget. Very, very sweet. And I was thinking about one of my friends, several of them, and missing them, and I thought, I want to put a card in the mail to them, and I decided to do this one. Problem is, it's an odd shape size. This card actually measures five and a half by five and a half. Well, I don't have any five and a half by five and a half envelopes, but here's what I do have. At the end of the season, I usually go into whatever store is handy, Macy's, CVS, Safeway, Tuesday morning, it really doesn't matter because all of them have their cards at the end of the year reduced down ridiculously low. This one happened to come from Tuesday morning. Uh, finally marked down to 79 cents. I think I got it when it was 40% off, so I paid, what, um, 50 cents for the pack? Beauty of it was it came with 10 note cards, but more importantly, it came with 10 envelopes, and it's the envelopes that I want to focus on. This envelope measures uh, nine inches across and six from top to bottom, so this is going to work perfectly because this will fit inside. Now, because this is nine, here comes the math. Close your ears if you don't want to hear it. <laughs> and I know this is five and a half, and I'm using my half inch glue glider, so I need to allow for glue for that half inch on the side, so I want to cut a little beyond that. So, so basically, I am going to remove an inch off either side because this is nine. So when I remove an inch, that brings this one in um, to eight. One more brings it into seven. I have a half an inch and a half an inch of glue. That brings it in to six. So now I'm left with a quarter inch on either side for my card to fit nice and snug. <laughs> Point being, we're taking off an inch on either side. Let's go. Another way around that is to just put your paper down, put it down, I'll look at it and say if I'm doing a half an inch on either one, then I can just go out a half an inch here, half an inch here. I'm going to cut just slightly beyond those, and you'll be fine. You don't have to worry about the math. Trust me. But I am going to take off an inch on either side. And the reason why I'm doing either side is because some of these envelopes, like this one, is cut with a little curvy piece. And if you have that, you want to be aware of it. So there we go. Two strips removed. And now look at that. At this point, if you desire, you can take some of your own paper and it's perfect to do a liner on there. Now I must admit I am not a pro with this uh, particular glue gun. I can never seem to get it where I want it to go. You know, I always am off too much and I think it's because I'm used to the other one. I know I can't talk and glue at the same time. <laughs> and I'm used to the other one which is, you know, different. So now I have my adhesive applied. Also, uh, if you want, you can always use score tape for this. They sell it in varying widths. That would work just as easily. So now, everything's already nicely scored for me. I am just closing this up. Oh, get rid of that pencil mark. Now the beauty about this is, if you went off the edge a little, just take your finger and run the pad along the edge and any excess glue will come right off. Now what you have is a custom made envelope for your custom made card. Ready to be posted. Love it. <laughs> As always, thank you for joining me in the lab today. Please be sure to check out my blog at inkallusions.blogspot.com. Until then.